Hey, what's up? This is Chosen. Hope you're having a fantastic start to your week here on Tuesday. And as we head into the week for Raid Shadow Legends, we've got a lot going on today. We've got the Ancient Shard event for the bonus legendaries. I'll let you know how many people in the community are pulling for this and if I am going to or not. We have another series teaser for the Call of the Arbiter series. It's going to be starting in about exactly one month from now. We are also going to be getting more gifts handed to us because of hitting the goal on the Viva La Dirt League video. And then there is is going to be a special spider tournament that we'll talk about if it's worth doing and all of that so we've got a lot to cover in this one let's get into it Alrighty, so first of all, we hit the milestone on the uh, on the video here that they had plugged in game. You can see here the Viva La Dirt League video right here, where if you watch it, we get certain milestones based on the views, and we did hit the next tier of that. So let's see exactly how much this is worth, and this is the milestone gift right here. So let's plug this in, and we've got the silver of 500k, and then the 50 XP brews, okay? one five-star chicken right there and then a classic arena refill this one looks like it might be a little bit more underwhelming than the last gift wasn't the last one or no that was an in-game gift but hey still like five bucks or so of uh of goodies here because of the big chicken and 50 brews and all of that so congrats to uh to hitting the milestone on that video and enjoy about the five dollars worth of pack graded gifts and also, Plarium has released another trailer here of the Call of the Arbiter series that will be starting in exactly one month on May 18th. This is super quick, so I will show you this just to uh, keep you in the loop here. From time immemorial, none have escaped the torment of war. But hidden deep in the world, there is a cure. Yeah! So there we go. Uh, you know, I, if there's one thing that Polarium has always done right in relation to Raid, it's obviously the aesthetics and the environment and all of that. So I think this has potential to be really good if they pull it off in a, uh, in a in a successful way. Obviously, I think the demand will be there for people wanting to watch it and all of that. So I will definitely be covering it on the channel and hopefully the Call of the Arbiter show is a success and does well. So that's most of the news going on right now in game. Probably the biggest thing happening is going to be the ancient shard legendary event where you get a bonus legendary. If you're able to pull one legendary from ancient shards, you don't get any boost to your chance. It's still 0.5% for a legendary from ancient shards. But if you're like close to your mercy or something and you're able to proc summoning a legendary, you will get a two for one bonus legendary. It's only going to happen once and all, all the normal caveats apply. But I did ask on the channel how many people are going to be pulling for this and a shout out to the almost 5,000 of you that voted over on the community tab but we have got basically a perfect 75 25 split so a three to one ratio of people not pulling for it versus people that are going to pull for the bonus legendary event and it is worth noting before you get too excited about the bonus legendary event going on there is going to be a champion chase tournament happening this weekend here friday saturday and sunday around the Rosal Varg Fusion. So if you can only pick one, if you've got Shars, you want to pull them during the bonus legendary, or if you're going to have to pull them during the champion chase, you need to weigh your options effectively because there are exactly 16 rares up for grabs. So if you did not get the epic from the summon rush, you are not going to be able to skip the champion training tournament if you want to finish Rosal Varg. So because of that, some people are saying they're not going to pull during the bonus legendary event. I've got enough resources that I'm going to be able to get the rare in the champion chase tournament. And I do have an extra one. I was lucky enough to get a bonus copy of the Margrave rare that we need for Rosalvarg. So I could probably skip the champion chase 
and not have to worry about it. If I really want to, I've got one in my back pocket as an extra. So I'm definitely going to pull because I'm also pretty close to Mercy. It's been a while since I've gotten a Legendary from Ancient. So it's going to be very efficient for me personally to pull for the bonus Legendary event. I'll probably stream here uh, later in the day tonight. We'll hang out and see what we're able to uh, to get on the account here and proc that effect. But that's not going to be the case for all of you. So you definitely want to weigh your options accordingly based on how you're doing for the Rosalvark Fusion, where your, uh, where your Mercy system is going to be sitting at currently, and how your account is kind of shaping out. Speaking of the Rosal Varg Fusion in the Tournaments tab, you are definitely going to want to make sure you're grinding the Ice Golem today. I need to get on this and get up to 2250 points to get a copy of a rare. You're not going to want to miss out on one of those because they're typically a lot easier to get than the Champion Chase, Summon Rush type ones. So even if you ended up with an extra one from Ancient Shards or something, you don't want to miss out on the ones up for grabs in Dungeons, ideally if you're going for the Fusion. And then under the Events tab, there is not going to be anything. You can see the next tab is just the Offers. So one of those very rare situations in raid where there is zero events live it is just going to be the tournaments tab and the one thing coinciding with the rosal Varg fusion other than that you've got a normal tag team arena tournament starting tomorrow for really no reason and most of you won't be very hyped up about that but there is also a spider tournament going on right now for just the Telerian faction if you're able to put together a team to get after this tournament and what they've been doing a lot is putting some of this essence up on the top of the row I, I did an article breaking down the last one for the fire knight and how it was technically worth it because we really need to acquire essence over the long haul health of our account to try and scoop up whatever blessing mechanics we can without having to spend money to get awakenings or, or at least like buy them in the shop and try to summon this is a little bit less rng but i would prioritize the rosal Varg fusion because it's way more important to make sure you get the copies of the rares to get a new legendary added to your account than it is to get five essence so i would say only do this if you've got bonus resources to get after it but i will try to get a dedicated video and a dedicated article breaking down the special spider tournament talking about the best champions to use and if i'm going to be doing it and what champions i'm using and all of that also, a quick reminder that your Hydra is going to be resetting at the end of the day. So if you are endgame enough to be hitting the Hydra, you definitely want to get your keys in today before the Hydra resets. And then also there's a new batch of clan quests. So remember to dive into your clan section and scoop up the weekly reset on your clan quests. And then in the Forge Pass, you'll see that we've unlocked the week three of challenges here. Most of this stuff will passively kind of accumulate over the course of the forge pass but there is one down here that is win 50 campaign battles using four champions of the same faction some people get confused and think it's affinity you need to use like uh whatever like like let's say you're using kale as your campaign farmer that's a dark elf you would want to use three food champions who are like dark elves so use like three uncommons or whatever to level up in the campaign and then you would be progressing towards finishing that forge pass objective now let's head on into the shop and see what is going on here today so we are actually getting a free gift here of live arena refills a good gesture there to let people play a little bit more in the live arena and start to disseminate these uh ranks and spread out the whales and the and the beginners a little bit it's good to get more battles happening now one thing that's interesting is finally on the offer calculator we've got something to break the tie down here on the bottom right we're gonna have to add like a live arena refills because they'll probably have a different value prospectus than like the tag team refills and the arena ref and the classic arena refills and all of that. So we'll try to get that added to the offer calculator here uh, within a week or so for sure. I'll have to touch base with my good friend Smiley. That's been a while since I've talked with Smiley. I need to get him here on the channel. We'll uh, we'll do a collab soon and, and talk about the offer calculator. It's been a little bit since we visited to chat about that. But in terms of stuff going on here in the shop, let's go ahead and claim that. Uh, we're obviously getting a pack string that is going to be because of the ancient event going on, but the unfortunate thing is these aren't usually very good. Uh, the, it's not a very good price effective way to, to accumulate some ancient shards. This offers not really that great worth plugging in. Um, now this is kind of an interesting one that I haven't really seen before, but I already know it's not good because it's a purchase limit of three. So let me show you here. Let's plug this in. So we've got uh, $10. And then we're getting six energy refills and 100 multi-battles. And then 1150 on the energy, 1150. And yeah, an 826 for a 0 0.83. So yep, anytime you see a purchase limit of three, you typically know it's not going to grade out super well. And 
and the privilege pack is going to be a daily offer that takes five days to so let's go ahead and let's get a refresher course on this one here so we've got a price of 15 and then 2.5 million and then 20 xp brews okay uh 10 energy refills a five star chicken of boom and then 200 multi battles think i got everything okay and it grades out as a 0.93 so eh, that's pretty bad for a like limited special offer especially one that takes uh like a bunch of days to claim so um gosh and then and then this is like the normal price for the mortal soul stone so geez a super underwhelming shop today but at least we got like the five bucks worth of free resources from the video objective that happened with that uh viva la dirt week video boom there we have it if you're pulling ancient shards good luck i hope you are able to get two legendaries that benefit your account and if you did pull let me know down below how it went for you i will probably be streaming later and hanging out uh streaming both on twitch and youtube if you would like to pop in and say hi and hang out during a shard event i got uh, uh, like a few things i got to get done here today but then later on i will definitely try to stream and pull until i get a legendary is probably how i'm gonna do it i'm just gonna pull until i proc that effect and then uh and then get after the champion chase this weekend by pulling like some a, cu a couple sacred shards and some mystery shards or something but that's the plan and remember to subscribe on your way out if you enjoy daily rage shadow legends content i appreciate all of you have a good rest of your day i'll see you soon in the next video peace